Little update with me, I just moved setups, moved rooms, literally a whole room makeover, it took way longer than expected, so that is the reason for the delay of this video, but all of that aside, we are back on the ground now, and let me just say, this video has it all. What in the world? The fight? Oh my god. <laughs> If you find this video in the slightest bit enjoyable, please consider subscribing. Thank you to all of you that have. It means an absolute ton. Enjoy the video. Yo, my name is Pump Vons, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. All right, today we got ourselves the Absolute Simulation Kings on Madden, and that would be, of course, the Cleveland Browns. Now, that's not for nothing, right? They, in, in my opinion, have a top three, if not the best roster in the entire league. They are stacked from bottom to top, so this should be a fun one. Nonetheless, go ahead and like the video and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. I'm building a new setup very, very soon, so once that is done, maybe, you know, it might be time for a little face came maybe around 500 subscribers tell your friends your family dog cat anything anyone that has a youtube tell them to subscribe immediately all right make sure you hit them noti bells as well to stay updated with every new video that drops but let me shut up Let's go get into the Browns team. All right, so first season together, we got ourselves an 87 overall team, 91 offense, and then an 83 defense is pretty decent, of course, at quarterback. We got Baker Mayfield. Baker's good in my opinion, man. He had a great rookie season, a little bit of a sophomore slump, but really picked it back up last season, leading them to the playoffs, leading them in the first round win over the Steelers. I mean, the dude's got a future. I'm gonna have to get rid of some contracts in just a few years because I'm gonna have to pay this man very, very soon, but I'm definitely, I definitely want him and I'm excited to see what he can accomplish for us. So one of the best running backs in the entire league, it's of course, Nick Chubb if this dude got as many carries as some others his stats would be unreal this he's so good in my opinion and then they got Kareem Hunt as well the best backup running back by far so their running backs are just just unreal unreal bro they of course traded for Odell Beckham Jr. the other year and if this make it stay healthy which he will in this rebuild because of course injuries are off he will be an animal still 90 rated superstar development beautiful Jarvis Landry another receiver they traded for but he is on a kind of a hefty deal so I'll see what I can do with him but for now he's definitely still good enough shout out to Rashard Higgins they drafted Anthony Schwartz this season one of the fastest guys if not the fastest guy in the draft and then DPJ is a the guy I also really like like I said man it's stacked from bottom to top you got Austin Hooper David Njoku and Harrison Bryant like <laughs> There's three solid tight ends, bro. And then to round out the offense, man, one of, if not probably the best O-line in the entire league, dude. Jack Coughlin was an amazing tackle last season. Wyatt Teller, one of the best guards. JC Treader's good. Batonio was incredible. And then Jedrick Wills, who was still a rookie last season. It's already super good, man. One of the best tackles in last year's class, man. This this offense is stacked. New addition in Tack McKinley, Tommy Togai. They drafted Malik Jackson's here. And then, of course, one of the best edge rushers in the entire league. Miles Garrett's an animal as well. Of course, cornerback was kind of an issue last year, but Denzel Ward should be great for us. Greedy Williams will not be injured, so he'll play. Troy Hill, they signed one of the best slot cornerbacks. And then Greg Newsom, who they drafted. I want to make him my number two safeties i mean what an addition this is john johnson one of the best safeties in the league they still have grant delpit as well then ronnie harrison jr for linebackers they added in jadavian Clowney. and what a partnership he's gonna bring with alongside miles garrett of course anthony walker's here and then the man that somehow fell to them in the second rick jeremiah usukorma should be a beast for us man specialist mm. I might, I might move DPJ to slot receiver just because he's younger. I want to see if he can develop like that. Kareem Hunt, third down back. Nick Chubb, power back. Beautiful. Greg Newsom in the slot. Miles Garrett, Malik Jackson, Jadavion Clowney, JOK at sub linebacker. I think we're good. I'm not going to change anything. As you guys know, the Browns are insane. I don't want to touch anything. Hopefully, they can be good for me today. I'll see you guys at midseason. Okay, so we have a, we just lost to the Raiders. Are you kidding me? 35-32, 3-2-1. Okay, we're 5-3. and three. We're top of the division, though, so that is fine. Of course, we have a really tough division, man. The Bengals low, sneakily have a really good team. The Ravens are good. The Steelers, of course, are good. We're 5-3. and three. I mean, I guess I'll check out some stats real quick. Not in depth, but just over here. Fifth in offensive yards. Baker's doing all right, but I'm pretty sure Nick Chubb and Cream Hunt are going crazy. Seventh in defense. Look, our record could be better, to be honest with you. Week 9, 5-3. and three. It's not bad. Like We should beat the Raiders. Are you kidding me? But we're, we're looking set for the playoffs. And we make it. We're going to be playing the Patriots. We go 10 and 6. Nothing crazy. The Patriots are actually 12 and 4. My goodness. We finished top of the division. The Steelers are down bad. <laughs> Ravens and Bengals go 500. Let's go check out the stats. Second in offensive yards. Baker wasn't anything crazy, crazy. But of course, Chubb and Hunt. And then I believe that means we're second as well. Shout out to you. That let me know in the comments below. Baker, I mean, just a solid season, man. Just solid. 4,100 yards, 33 touchdowns, 11 picks only. Beautiful rushing wise. Nick Chubb. And Kareem Hunt had five a carry, like just unreal stats from these two. Nick Chubb with 1,200 yards there. Receiving wise, we had Odell 930. These are a little underwhelming. Not gonna lie, eight uh, touchdowns for him. Jarvis Landry 900 as well. Austin Hooper, DPJ in the slot was decent as well. Not bad. Defensively, Anthony Walker led the way for tackles made there. Sack number is gonna be looking like this. How many miles Garrett? 16 and then 14 for Clowney. My God, that is way more than the zero he got last season for the Titans. Really? Wow, Malik Jackson, Tack, dude. Hoo, hoo, hoo. 
Wow. Interception wise, how are we looking? Anthony Walker Jr. with two. Ronnie Harrison. Greg Newsom, the rookie, with two himself. You'll love to see that. Beautiful stuff. We look good. Greg Newsom and Jeremiah was Karamo. I did both make star. Nothing over that. So all good. We got that. We got Mac or no Cam Newton, the other semi god in the first round here. They go 12 and four. Finish as the number five seed at 12 and four. What were the Jets then, bro? The Jets went 13 and three. Chiefs 13 and three as well. Jags. Trevor Lawrence's rookie season 12 and four. Of course, I did make him superstar X Factor. I went around the whole league and made the you know the top end rookies what I think they'll be. This is not going to be an easy feat, but whenever I play the Browns in my other rebuilds, they smack us in the playoffs. So let's go. 42-23. Okay, beautiful stuff. However, we now have Patrick Mahomes or um, Chad Henney <laughs> and the Kansas City Chiefs. Of course, I don't know why I forgot their name. Baker and then Walker Jr. Shout out to you too. Oh, it's going to be a tough game. They go 13-3. Can we come away with a win this year? Get our revenge. We don't. We lose 32-28. They made it all the way to the Super Bowl, man. It's going to be Chiefs versus the Packers there. Not not the craziest start. I thought we would do much better. I'm not going to lie. Cam Newton, of course. MVP is Baker in here. He is not. Baker making an offensive player of the year. He's number 10. I thought he had a decent pretty season. Did he not? Where's Miles Garrett? Miles Garrett at number eight. Are you kidding me? Hey, Nick Chubb won best running back though. So shout out to him. Best wide receiver went to another semi goddess, Jameson Crowder there. And then best O-line. We could have some people here to upgrade. Browns, Wyatt Teller. That means superstar top five. He is already star development. You guys know the vibes. Betonio already star, of course. We won't be upgrading him, but Wyatt Teller. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. Bestie line. Miles Garrett, baby. Shout out. Did we have like Greg Newsom or anyone here? We had no one. Denzel Ward. John Johnson, nobody, that's okay. Let's go ahead and check out the development upgrades. Anything on offense? I don't think so, To be, uh, except for Wyatt Teller. To be completely honest with you, I don't see anything. Yeah, kind of unfortunate, not gonna lie, defensively. Did we get anything here? I don't think we did, bro. All right, let's go ahead and go make Wyatt Teller, of course, a superstar because he is star development. Finish top five, that means start a superstar. And then if you finish number one and have superstar, you go to X Factor, top 10, and you're normal. Normal to star, you guys know the vibes, baby. Same over that. And the Packers win 36 31 there. So, what an exciting Super Bowl that is. Better than the one to realize this year. You know what I mean? Let's go check out some contracts. Rashard Higgins. He's 77 rated. He's good, right? He is good. I think I'm going to let him walk, though. Let's try to have DPJ really step up and develop. We only have four people here. Um, I'll just sign a kicker in free agency. All right, we got our new kicker, man. It's the boy, Young Way Koo. We do have a fifth-year option here for Baker Mayfield, and I'm, of course, accepting that. I'll see you guys at the 2021 NFL Draft. Hold up, hold up. We, of course, got one more, and that's Denzel Ward, who they both chose and I believe, like, the top 10, top 7-ish. We would love to have him back as well. Okay, so this is the guy I really want here. Lance Bishop, early first cornerback. Projected to go late, so I did sim a few picks because I do want to trade up. I might try to go to, like, the Jets and try it. Hopefully, it doesn't go around here. There are some incredibly highly rated players in this class that I've already seen. Um, okay. Yeah, I'm not going to risk it anymore. Let me go Let me go try to make a trade with the Jets to move up because I want that cornerback. And you know what? I think I might offer Njoku as well. You know, there's been rumors that he wants out because, you know, he's clearly not the number one option anymore. The Jets are in dire need of a of a tight end. So let's offer him up to him and then let's try to get like a future third maybe. Would that work? He's double green interest. Really close. I'll just take a fifth and a sixth and that should do it. All right. I actually just took it out, but th this works. Number 27 and then David and Joku, and we're going to get ourselves pick number 16 in the class where I'm probably going to go with that cornerback. He just looks so good. And I'm not risking it like I did. I think last video, I had a late first round cornerback that I wanted, and he was just off the draft board by 17. So I'm not risking it this time. Lance Bishop out of Texas. <laughs> Is only normal development, but he's 76 rated, rank number seven in the class, man. Really good. Stats look unreal. Our cornerback group looks really good now. Greedy, Denzel Ward, Greg Newsom, and now Lance Bishop. All right, unfortunately, everybody is gone here on our draft board. I might just trade and get some more picks, or maybe even a player here, because we can get these guys just a, just a little bit later on. Could I get the Colts pick? I could. Okay, so I'm trading the second and then two third round picks. We're getting pick number 25 projected in next year's draft in the first round. Yeah, so definitely not the most flashy draft, that's for sure. But look, we're a contending team already. We just need a few more pieces and that'll put us over the top. So we look pretty good, man. Let's just go ahead and check out the class as a whole. This guy's an 81 left end. Are you kidding me? And he's hitting? Oh my. Bro. And he's superstar. My goodness, the Falcons got themselves a gem. My 81, that might be the highest defensive player I've literally ever seen. The Steelers, divisional rivals, get themselves a cornerback. He's hidden as well. 77 rated too. Like, well, that's what I'm saying, bro. This class was super highly rated. He's only star, so shouldn't be too crazy, but still. Here's the Heisman dude. He, he's obviously hidden as well. Three hiddens in a row here. Can it make it four with the Bills? 
Nope, he's only normal, but a 76 rated player, man. Like, this class was solid, not gonna lie. Ooh, there's a receiver later later on that's 75. They didn't scout me any... Mm, they didn't scout me any wide receivers. They scouted me two. Literally two, and of course, we did just lose Higgins. I want DPJ to step up, but, like, I probably would have taken receiver if I had him scouted. Wow! Wow, 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 wow. You know what? Let's go check out the team in the second season. We got ourselves a 90 rated team now. 93 offense, 87 defense. So the defense is improving little by little. Nothing much changed here on offense. But hopefully, DPJ can take that next step up. We'll probably be rocking him in the slot again. Why Taylor went up to Superstar. Shout out to him. Defensively, we made some draft picks. We got Lance Bishop now in our corner. We have four really good corners. Miles Garrett's still doing Miles Garrett. We got Billings. Did I sign him? I have no idea, but he's here. Tag McKinley, Clowney. I mean, the team remains the same, and it's a good, good, good team. So hopefully we do better than the last season. We went 10-6. and six, Fell short in the second round of the Chiefs. I'm expecting much better, man. We're the Simi Gods. Come on now, show me something. Okay, we have another bye week. We just smashed the Jaguars in week 8. 3-2-1. 6-2. Alright, not bad. The Bengals are right behind us, though. And are the Ravens down bad this year? They are. We have a weekly award winner as well. Who's that going to be? It's going to be Jeremiah Jeremiah Koromo. His name is so long there. It went with the logo. He had two interceptions. Okay, not bad at all. Let's go ahead. Go check out the stats. Ooh, second in offensive yards. Beautiful. Baker still doing his thing. Defensively, how are we looking? Oh. Oh, that's not good. Nick Chubb's going crazy, though, so that's nice. Let's go ahead and spend some coach XP. Definitely forgot to do this at the beginning of last season. Let's put it on all of these. We got 5.4K remaining. Let's put it on. Let's put it on quarterback for Baker. He's still young, still going strong. We're 6-2, so we're looking strong as well. Our defense sucks. Actually, we have some contracts here. I see Nick Chubb. Definitely, definitely need Ch Nick Chubb back. We got White Teller, Ronnie Harrison. Okay. I totally forgot to trade some people. All right, White Teller. Why Teller did not accept. Now let's go ahead and try for Nick Chubb. I forgot to trade some cap casualties because we do not. Is this? Why is it so low? Wait, why? He wants seven years? I don't think I've ever seen anyone demand seven years before. But, um, yeah, we, we can't afford that, Nick Chubb. Not yet. Um, I might tag him, but right, why to? Oh my gosh, we have some decisions to make. I forgot to get rid of some cap crazy people wait did white teller accept i'm so confused he didn't so like where did my money go because we had we had some money when i was signing white teller now we don't have any money I, I th I'm, I'm gonna save it for the end of the season i'm kind of scared now um we're running low we're running low nick chubb won seven years in a bag so kind of hefty but you know what hopefully this year we can just win it all and call it a day we go 13 and 3 that's what i'm talking about that is what i'm talking about all right our offense actually went down to 14 we were second last or in, at, at mid season, right? We were like middle of the pack, but our record was thirteen and three. I'll take I'll take the record all day long. Baker, really good season, really good low yardage, but still fantastic. Nick Chubb, wow. I need to sign I, I need to sign Nick Chubb back, dude. Yeah. Kareem Hunt was amazing as well. My dude, Nick Chubb is unbelievable. Odell broke a thousand. DPJ with ten touchdowns. Hooper and Landry pretty decent as well. And then defensively, Anthony Walker of course leads the way for tackles made, sack numbers. <laughs> Oh my goodness, Miles Garrett had 21. Miles Garrett just had 21 sacks. I believe the record is 22.5. So close. JOK with six interceptions. Greg Newsom with four. The two rookies from last season, Jadavia and Clowney Walker Jr. Denzel Ward with three as well. My goodness. My goodness. We got to win it all now because the money's, the money's getting tight. You know what I mean? I, we got to win it out with the squad we have because our squad is unbelievable. We play the Patriots again. We beat them last season. They go 9-7. and seven. Can we come away with a win? Oh my goodness. 42-39. to 39. My God. We have a breakout Donovan Peoples-Jones? Dude, I don't think I've ever seen a breakout in, in the playoffs. But hey, he just needs 100 yards, two touchdowns. What, he get 10 throughout the regular season? Hopefully he can, he can do it. We play the Raiders, who I believe we, we lost to. At the last game at the mid I don't know. You guys remember that. I, that was a while ago for me. But we play the Raiders, who make it all the way here to the conference championship. They go 10-6, and six, but of course, our team is unbelievable. Let's go. 42-17. The real question is, though, I don't even care about the Super Bowl. Did Donovan Peoples-Jones get his breakout? Come on. Oh 42 points we put up, and Donovan Peoples-Jones couldn't just get 100 yards. Couldn't get two touchdowns. We play... We're playing the Carolina Panthers. If you guys missed my Carolina Panthers read, but go check that out. Because Sam Darnold was unbelievable in it. One of my favorite videos. Cam Newton, MVP. Are you? Oh, my God. How does Baker not? We were 13-3. to three. He had 35 touchdowns, 7 interceptions. Are you kidding me? And Baker doesn't get in? That's blasphemous. That's straight up blasphemous. 
Baker's number nine. That, that makes no sense. Yep, that was Miles Garrett all day to win. Jeremiah Uzukoromo got number two. Almost a clean sweep there for Defensive Player of the Year. And I don't even know if we had any rookies. Oh, we had Alonzo Smart. Don't know who that is. I'll just be real with you. Here's the cornerback that went number one. Lance Bishop got number three there. So we'll definitely take that. Oh, Baker was number two for, for best QB. We'll take that Nick Chubb once again. I need Nick Chubb back. I need Nick Chubb bad to re-sign with us. White, that's... All right, so now I need White Teller because White Teller just finished number one. Dude, oh my upgrades. JC Treader, Batonio, and White Teller. Holy upgrades. That is unreal. But I have to re-sign White Teller or Nick Chubb. Jeremiah Uzukoromo wins best linebacker. Bro, our team just went wild. Shout out to Greg Newsome as well. This is the Browns I was ex expecting, man. This is the Browns I was expecting offense could baker get one maybe we have a ton on the o-line could baker get one though he doesn't he's still star that sucks that really sucks but treader betonio and teller will get upgraded right after i go check out the defense here jeremiah was up to superstar denzel ward up to superstar beautiful stuff um we had a who was his name malik jackson he's disappeared Newsom doesn't go up, unfortunately, but JOK and Denzel Ward. Beautiful stuff. Now, of course, we got these three. Oh, my goodness. Beautiful. The O-line rule is coming into full effect today for the Browns Reboot. X-Factor, Superstar, Superstar. Of course, those two finished top five. And then White Teller was the best. Are you kidding me? It's been in full effect. It has, it's been a, lot, a little slow in some of my rebuilds because we maybe get one player in there. Maybe. That's just a maybe. We got the Panthers. 84 rated team. They have Trent Williams now who looks like they signed. We're a 91, bro. We are a 91. All right, here's what I'm thinking in my head. If I remember correctly, I did play the Browns in the Super Bowl in my Panthers rebuild, and they absolutely destroyed me. So, we're on the other side this time. We switched sides. I'm sorry, but... Of course, you guys know the vibes. Quarter by quarter, and then we go play by play, and we we will hop in. Did they miss a... Oh, my God. What, we got a safety. All right, yeah, quarter by quarter, fourth quarter, we do jump in and just watch over. Getting better with that, but we're... Are you kidding me? We're currently getting smacked. 20 to 2? We can't... Um... We... What? 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 We are getting destroyed. What in the world? We're, we're, we're down 40 to 5. All right, big gain here. I mean, this would have to be the most incredible, outstanding, unbelievable comeback of all time. It's not going to happen. 40 to 5. Like, are you kidding me? But we need, we're need we going to need a touchdown here. Thank you. We have 12 points now. No, there's, there's literally no way. There's no way. Did they just get a pick? Dude, we are getting... What in the world? All right, well, um, we, we, we just got destroyed by the Panthers and Sam Darnold. What? That couldn't happen in my Panthers rebuild? It's literally just, I, I, I don't, I have no words. I really have no words. Baker. Baker, it's like you don't want to be back here. Sam Darnold, two toddies, no picks. Baker, I mean, what are you doing? This dude was out here doing cardio. Are you actually kidding me? C-Mac killed us. Nick Chubb was bad for Nick Chubb. Cream Hunt was terrible. What in the world? Robbie Anderson killed us. D D it's not even DJ Moore. It's David Moore killed us. DJ Moore's down here too. They have the top three receivers in the game. Where is Odell? Are you kidding me? I am speechless. Brian Burns, did we, we didn't even have a sack. Did we even touch Sam Darnold? Shaq Thompson gets an interception for them. We lose 43-12. to 12. What in the world? All right, so I went ahead and just released Chris Hubbard, Case Keenum, Stefan Carlson. That should give us a tad bit more money. Hopefully, we can re-sign Teller and Chubb. Okay, we actually got a ton more money from releasing those people, so that is very nice. Let's bump up Wyatt Teller's contract because we need him back. He's up to X-Factor now. He's literally up to X-Factor. All right, Wyatt Teller's back. Fantastic. What is Nick Chubb asking for? Okay, six years. And yeah, we... Now we don't have money for him, but I'm just going to tag him. Honestly, wait. Just let me tag him. Just give him a trash deal. Thank you. And Nick Chubb, you're not going anywhere. Okay, unfortunately, that doesn't mean we won't be able to sign Ronnie Harrison back. And then they'll just... I'll just draft a punter or whatever. But we could probably move Grant Delpit to um, to strong safety. So I'm not, I'm not too mad about that. Yeah, we got negative four mil. We don't have a fifth year option, so... Let's just go to the draft. Of course, I would like to run it back with the squad. We made it to the Super Bowl. Unfortunately, we got absolutely annihilated by the Panthers and Sam Darnold, and we put up pretty almost a donut. 
we have pick number 20 that's who did i trade with who did i trade with we have the colts pick all right perfect and then we have of course number 31 which is going to be our pick i did just fill up my draft board draft class pretty solid i'm not gonna lie let's just go ahead and sim to number 20 we do have two first round picks so i am hype to see what we can do with it we do have some big contracts man i'm i'm, I'm considering maybe trading odell or landry they're making a lot oh that edge i had an edge on here he's gone but guys look at this receiver mid second round projected he's an early first talent unbelievable unbelievable combine this guy would allow us to maybe trade landry or odell save some money i'm gonna go on he's the best player by far right now bang emmett stevenson how was he that good and he's only normal no 76 rated. he was number two in the class he, he looks unreal though he looks unreal hopefully we can develop him 97 speed number two player in the class dude my that the top running back there is the guy that won the heisman obviously we do not need running back at all we're gonna take manny wade here best player here we need a we need a outside linebacker because i'm bro i've been hot with the hidden developments for outside linebackers 74 rated number 12 in the class and he, he's hidden i can't be more excited we can of course we did lose um tack mckinley so we're probably going to be moving jadavian Clowney onto the d-line he should slot right in linebacker oh all right it's accepted i'm sorry juice i'm sorry i do love you but i'm gonna have to let you go man you got a 16 mil cap and we're giving away the second round pick as well we're getting the a future first round pick from the jacksonville jaguars so it should be nice we're looking for the future but we also want to win now but that stevenson signing i'm hoping i'm hoping we can develop him and he can step right in what the other linebacker went are you kidding me all right so we got stevenson who hopefully hopefully can step up and fill jarvis landry's shoes we got manny wade who was extremely good and hidden development that should be a nice addition as well we got the center later on he's nothing special the had another outside linebacker later on as well and he was unfortunately taken right before who's this guy orlando walker hidden development we love to see that hope he's x-factor Ooh, this guy was pick number two overall he was the number one player in the class at 77 rated lamar compton two defensive tackles back to back and he's also hidden development okay here's our guy unfortunately only normal but emmett harris is here from the buccaneers he's only normal as well the class definitely a down step from last season's dude this dude win the fourth round 75 rated tight end shout out stefan winthrop i think we're good though we got manny wade let's go check out the team third season man baker if you can't get it done with an 89 overall team with a 93 offense and an 85 defense i don't know what to say man you're up to 89 now unfortunately still only star but we did franchise tag nick chubb had to get him back 99 rated. he's an animal odell beckham but of course we did lose Jarvis Landry which does which, which does hurt it, it's it's sad I'm not gonna lie but Emmett Stephenson Emmett Stevenson Stephenson I don't know Emmett just please fill the void 76 rated gonna be our rookie Hooper O-line looks unbelievable <laughs> unbelievable and then defensively we need to make some changes here let's put Delpit so I can just do that right nope yep and just like that Jadavian Clowney's here let's put Delpit back at strong safety and it looks it looks decent we got Duckworth and Togai at defense tackle it's not the best but hey we got Clowney and Garrett on the edges we should be fine there we're starting Manny Wade Manny Wade's a beast of course with JOK Denzel Ward at the superstar as well how special is looking let's put mm, I want my guy in the slot all right Stevenson will be in our slot Kareem Hunt Nick Chubb nothing really much change here we're gonna rock with it again we went 13 and 3 last season what is there to change except maybe i gotta change up the tactics for that super bowl because we were terrible i'll see you guys in mid-season we're <laughs> we're seven and oh uh, no biggie oh my goodness no jarvis landry no problems my dude this team is so good we're seven and oh how are we looking statistically though fourth in offensive yards baker looks amazing this season and then defensively sixth wow 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 nick chubb's doing nick chubb he is doing Nick Chubb. We, uh, I'm gonna have to resign Baker too, huh? Nick Chubb's here. But this is the problem with this team, though. There are so many good players, and we are gonna have to pay out a lot. Oh man! All right, Denzel Ward's a greedy bastard. Here's the thing: the Browns are always cracked. They've made the Super Bowl against me with Nick Mullins. Like, should I? Ah, I gotta resign Baker, right? We gotta resign Baker, dude. All right, never mind. I'll look to get Baker back for sure. But Batonio's here. All right, Betonio, thank you. Nick Chubb still wants his fat deal, bro. You know what? It's Nick Chubb. It's Nick Chubb. He's back. John Johnson. All right, John Johnson's back as well, so not bad at all. We got Chubb back. I think I'm going to wait on Cream Hunt because we definitely need Baker back. We definitely need uh, Denzel Ward back. Hawkins here too. Holy, there's a lot of people, bro. But I'm going to just stall on it for now because we need we need Denzel and Baker out of all those guys. Let's put this on receiver for our, our guy, what, Emmett? Emmett Stevenson? 
Uh, it looks, looks like we're doing fine without Jarvis Landry, so thankfully we're good. Two and six bills. <laughs> Should be a cakewalk. I'll see you guys at the playoffs. And we got, I'm assuming, a bye week. 12. Hmm. We started off 7-0, ended 12-4, and but hey, we're still the number one seed, so I'm not mad at all. Let's just go check out the stats here. How did we do in the third season offensively? First, yeah, we need Baker back. He enjoyed, he was really good this season defensively. Seventh, yeah, amazing, bro. Amazing. We go 12-4. and four. Actually worse than last season, but Baker, 4,500 yards, 36 touchdowns, and then only, was it five? Oh my goodness, Nick Chubb. That's why I re-signed him. But Kareem Hunt was almost equally as good with just less carries. Wow. Odell Beckham, 1,000 yards, 14 touchdowns. Awesome. Austin Hooper, 1,000 yards. Emmett Stevenson in the slot, 7 yards short of 1,000 as well. 3 would have been unbelievable, but he got 11 touchdowns too. Yeah, the receiving game is fine. It's doing wonders still. Lance Bishop, our cornerback uh, last year who we traded up for, led the way for tackles made. All right, get sacks. Garrett, a little lower this season, but still phenomenal, of course. 18 and a half. Jadavion Clowney, 13 and a half. Wow, wow, wow. Interception numbers. Three for Tarvarius Moore. Okay, 67 rate. No, 74 rated. Do we have him at the beginning? I don't even know. Jeremiah was Cormo, Lance Bishop, Greedy Williams also got themselves too. Not bad at all. We once again back to back years with a bye week. I'm pretty sure in the wild card round. Let's go ahead and sim and see who we're gonna be playing in the second round. It's gonna be the Broncos. The Broncos finished seven and seven and nine, nine and seven. I don't even know, but they were the seventh seed. We got Jags Jets down there. Lawrence versus Wilson. We got some good matchups. We should come away with a w here against the broncos our team was unbelievable oh my god oh my, oh my goodness 31-0 wow as we're now going to be playing the jets we're the fourth seed they won 20 to 3 so almost as almost as convincing as us it's going to be packers giants packers the reigning super bowl no no it's the panthers obviously we got never mind i don't even want to think about it let's just sip the week man hopefully we can make it back to the super bowl we do 41 13 now we're playing the packers who won the first season i believe against the chiefs when we unfortunately got knocked out baker mayfield didn't sell ward the two guys that need to resign are the two guys that win player of the weeks oh man uh what am i doing here i need to send to the super bowl week i was gonna look for i was looking for yearly awards that's what i clicked and there's the yearly awards the packers finished 12 and 4 as well mvp went to zach wilson who we just knocked off kyle trask is in here dude why is baker always so low he was spectacular this season Ooh, offensive rookie of the year went to emmett stevenson You'll love to see that. Hopefully, he can go up to star development. We had Manny Wade at number three as well, who I do need to go check out his development trade as well. Baker, number three there. Nick Chubb is sweeping that every single year. Zach Pascal wins uh, best wide receiver. Okay, Odell's in here. Stevenson's in here. Not bad. White Teller, once again, can I get him to super, super X-Factor? I don't Stop know. Betonio is already superstar, of course. Jedrick Wills won away from getting upgraded as well. That would have been unreal. Miles Garrett, of course. Um, Rashawn Evans wins there. Where's JOK? What happened to JOK this season? Legereus need. Do we have anybody here? Tar Tarvarius more out of, out, out of anyone. Out of anyone in our DB group. All right. Offensively, Stevenson and Baker. I want Stevenson and Baker to go up. That would be amazing. Baker went up. <laughs> Offensive rookie of the year, and he doesn't get upgraded to star development. Are you kidding me? That is so dumb, bro. He jumped right in and filled the void that Jarvis Landry left and was amazing. That's so, so dumb. Jadavion Clowney went up. Manny Wade is only a star. I have to resign. I, I can't resign Clowney too, dude. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. What, why is this guy starting? All right, well, that's actually really annoying. I didn't actually make him a strong safety, but he was already there, so I just put him there. But it looks like they signed me Tarvarius Moore. That could have been Dr Grant Delpit, and I really wish it was Grant Delpit because I like Grant Delpit a lot. But hey, back to back Super Bowls. We got the Green Bay Packers this time around. Hopefully, it's a much better game than last season, but they are a way better team, man. 87 rated. We're 92 this time, but we got smacked by an 81 Panthers last. All right, so we're in third season, back-to-back -back Super Bowls. The Browns going absolutely wild here. It's still Aaron Rodgers, not Jordan Love. Let's go ahead, sim quarter by quarter, and then the hopefully, hopefully we can jump into the fourth quarter this time and have an entertaining game. We started off with a field goal there, 3-0, but it's good to get some points off the board. We got a touchdown. We got a touchdown. That makes me happy enough. It's 10-0, first quarter. We look strong. We get a stop, 13-0. They get a touchdown, though. At the end of the first half, we answer right back, 20-7 they get one at the very last second it's gonna be 20 to 14 heading to the second half now can we start off strong here we do 28 14 but they are answering right away bro they are answering right away we are starting off the fourth quarter with the ball though so hopefully we do good nice little catch there who's that austin hooper gets himself the first down great great throw baker who's having 
an okay game. Dude, just look at our O-line. We literally have three superstars there. And X-Factor, uh, White Teller's an X-Factor. We get another first down here. It's going to be Austin Hooper again. He's coming through big time for us. First and 10, Nick Chubb absolutely annihilates whoever that was. Who was that? Kenny Clark? Good God. Nick Chubb is just unbelievable. <laughs> he literally manhandled him. My goodness. Second and nine now. Cream Hunt out the backfield. Baker, what you got, baby? Beautiful, beautiful pass. That's Emmett Stevenson, our rookie, but it, unfortunately, it isn't a first down. It's now third and one. Baker, got to convert here, but we are in field goal range, so we're looking decent. We are up just a touchdown. Emmett Stevenson's up to 69 yards. Shout out to him. We get the first down. It's going to be Odell Beckham Jr. Let's go. Second and go now. We got to come away with the touchdown if we want it. We need a cushion. We need a cushion in this game because that Packers offense is scary. Oh, my God. We got it away last second, but Kareem Hunt just ran into the tackle. No. Bro, I could have sworn Kareem Hunt had a, had a, he had a lane open on the left side if he just kept running and used his speed. But he tried to just truck the guy. I don't know. It's third and go now. Baker. Baker, P.I., illegal touching, something. What's the flag? Pass interference. On the defense? Darnell Savage. <laughs> Let's go, baby. And it is now first and goal. We are now on the one. We have a man. We paid the big bucks. He goes by Nick Chubb. Can he come through for us? It's play action. He's w Oh, my God. Executed terribly. Oh, now we're pretty much back to where we started before the penalty, of course, but it is second down now. But we're on the eight. Terrible play action. I mean, we're on the one just feet. Emmett Stevenson! What? I, 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 I didn't think he got that. Wow, the rookie gets his Super Bowl touchdown. Oh my goodness, let's go. Now we have a little cushion on the Green Bay Packers. My goodness, they have superstars and X-Factors across the board. Looks like Aaron Jones went up. They have another superstar receiver that's not Devontae Adams. Aaron Rodgers, one of the best quarterbacks of all time. What do you got for me? Oh my gosh. Is that Greg Newsome? I believe, number 26? He could have he could have picked that off. He really could have. They're going to run hurry up here. Four minutes remaining. Five minutes, pretty much. They're down two touchdowns. They got to go quick here. Aaron Rodgers. Surprise, mother... Gets, it's a fumble. Get it. Someone get it. 99. 96. It's a, it's a stupid score. Let's go! Who is that? Miles Garrett with a forced fumble. That should be game. It's Tommy, Tommy Tagai, the rookie from 2021. And now we're up three touchdowns. Let's go, Browns. All right, so let's just sit and play my play now. The Packers got to gotta do something spectacular if they ever want to come back. Miles Garrett with once again another sack. But it looks like we get a penalty. Tommy Tagai from hero to zero, my guy. What are you doing? Amari Rodgers. Was that him that was superstar? All right, the Packers just went crazy. Um, e e what in the equinom equinomious equinomious Saint Brown? <laughs> I don't know, but he gets himself a touchdown. Um, okay, a little scary, but I think I still think we're comfortable. They went for the onside kick, unsuccessful as you guys can see. J.C. Treader is absolutely throwing. What are you doing? What are we doing? Nick Chubb, third and eleven. Nick Chubb again, wasting time. Did we get the field goal? We did get the field goal. Yeah, we look good. There's only two minutes remaining. There's really not much time left for the Packers to do anything. And it's going to be a Lombardi for the dog pound and the Cleveland Browns. Let's go, baby, with Baker Mayfield, Nick Chubb. Miles Garrett came through with an amazing forced fumble there at, what, five minutes remaining. And we come away with the Super Bowl, baby. Let's go. Aaron Rodgers, I'm sorry, my guy, but you were no match for this team. Add him to the down bad list once again. He's a he's a multiple time down bad list member at this time and moment. Bro, where... Where's the Super Bowl MVP? Why did that screen just magically get taken away from us? Aaron Rodgers was actually unbelievable. My goodness, 400 yards, four touchdowns. He had three picks, though. He had three picks. Those were definitely costly. Costly. Costly won the world. Nick Chubb um, actually wasn't that good. Cream Hunt was really good, though. Aaron Jones, decent as well. Amari Rodgers, wow. He destroyed us. But Emmett Stevenson, our rookie, came through for the mo quite, quite possibly the most important touchdown of the entire game. Where's Odell? Odell only had three receptions. He had a touchdown, though, so that's nice. Anthony Schwartz, shout out to you as well. And then defensively, man, Jadavion Clowney with three sacks. Miles Garrett, one and a half. And, of course, that forced fumble. Tommy Togai, who got the scoop and score interception with that Manny Wade, the rookie. John Johnson, Denzel Ward. Let's go, baby. We won the Super Bowl in 2022 in our third season, or like 2023, you could say in real life, you know, with the rookies. But you know what we have to do. I'm mad to get it in. Let's go one more season here. Let's try to repeat. But of course, we do have some massive players here that we got to get back if we want to make another run. Zell Ward being the first one. I'm going to bump it up a tad bit. And Zell Ward, we definitely need you back, my guy. What is your problem? Okay, so Baker does want more money now. I'm going to bump it up. He wants five years as well. But we would definitely like 
the Super Bowl champion Baker Mayfield back. Jadavion Clowney. He was so good last season, honestly. And he was great in the Super Bowl. Let's get him back as well, man. I think I'm gonna let JC Treader walk just because he's a little older. Hopefully, we can just draft someone in that position. Jack Conklin. All right. I guess we'll just offer JC Treader a deal then because we can't get back um, Conklin. And then I'm probably gonna have like little to no money anyway. So I'm gonna try to use all of it right now. Just as, as much of it as I can. And then I'm gonna tag Denzel Ward. All right, never mind. Greedy. All right, Greedy's back. That's good. Anthony Walker Jr. is just not interested in signing. All right. Tio and Taki Taki is back. 76 rated. Not bad at all. I'll let Tarverius Moore leave. And then let's go ahead and just franchise tag Denzel Ward and let's run it back. All right, so we're now at pick 11 here. I think I'm going to trade up. I have two first round picks. I don't remember the trade I made last year, but we have number 28 and 32. There is a defensive tackle. This guy, Jarrell Fenderson. He looks unreal. We need defensive tackle really, really bad. I'm going to try to look to trade up for him uh, finally my goodness that <laughs> pick number 28 and then two or no a future second round pick and then a current second round pick is getting us up to number 11 with the detroit lions if you guys missed my detroit lions rebuild go check that out because that video was pretty sick but nay so it was an animal but now let's go ahead and sim no 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 wait it's gonna <laughs> what am i doing okay it should have it should have taken the guy on my draft board though and it was that guy thankfully but I didn't get to see what he is. Um, drafted. They did take him. He's 76 rated. Can I check him? I can. Oh, he's hidden. No, I, I, I accidentally simmed it. He's actually hidden though. Whoa. Dude, he looks unreal. That's what I'm talking. Oh my God. That was so anticlimactic, bro. Oh my God. I just came out to the main menu because I was going to sim again. We have pick number 32. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm all over the place. Okay. We did lose Jack Conklin, but we do have another right tackle that I believe was a rookie in 2021. That he's 73 rated, I think he was. So we need a middle linebacker. We lost um, what's his name, Anthony Walker Jr. I think that's gonna be my pick. We don't need safety. We did resign Jadavion Clowney. Let's go ahead and take Dion Weber out of it. Another hidden 72 rated, 29th in the class, hidden development Dion Weber. Oh yes, sir. He's already. I wish I had this guy from the beginning. Let's go, and back to back. Well, 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 what a draft. We just had reigning Super Bowl champions, and we get two hidden development players in the draft. Dion Weber, a position of need, and then Fenderson, another position of need. CPU handed the rest, we did lose Cream Hunt. And now we have Traylon Robertson, I guess. <laughs> wow, the dude with no shoulders went number one. He looks unbelievable. 79 rated right end. Ooh, and hit it. What did the Eagles get themselves though? Oh, that guy was the number one guy in the class as well. Craig Anthony, who went at number 18, 70 run, 77 aided, or what am I saying? 78 rated left end here. Not bad at all. Deron, dude, there were a lot of good corners in this class. This guy's hidden too. Wow. Dudley Moody, the guy that went before us when we traded up, I believe. He's only normal, so I'm fine with that. And then our guy, hidden development. Dude, we just made some banger picks. This dude was chosen at the end of the third round. Wow wow i'll see you guys next season so fourth and final season we are a 91 rated squad 95 offense 88 defense let's see if we can win back to back super bowls bakers up to a 91 and a superstar development so you love it we did lose cream hunt though which sucks but nick chubb more carries for nick chubb so he could go crazy man receiving doesn't look great on paper but it's beautiful anthony schwartz dpj Emmett stevenson reigning offensive rookie of the year austin huber and then we have this guy james hudson who should be able to fill in that right tackle position very nicely 73 rated kind of low but look at the rest of the o-line the rest of the o-line being this good should not should just boost up his game alone and then defensively Clowney's up to superstar we drafted uh hitting guy let's make him our number one and we drafted weber as well the, the defense looks beautiful. Delpit will be 100% at strong safety this year. Cornerbacks still look extremely good. Um, Lance Bishop actually is a higher rated than Greedy Williams now. All right. But yeah, Miles Garrett's still doing his thing as well. Specialist. Um, you know what, DPJ? You can be there. I'm fine with that. Bishop. Nothing else really changed. Weber and Jeremiah Owusu-Koromo there, except we have Nick Chubb now. Garrett all of the carries. I'm, I'm kind of intrigued to see how well we can do, bro. Let's go to midseason. Last season, I believe we were 7-0, right? This week, we're 8 0. Oh, we're 6 2. I thought we were 7 1. Okay, the Bengals. The Bengals are 7 1 coming out, huh? Uh, we're third in offensive yards. Baker's still doing his thing. Second in yardage there. And then for defense, 14th. A tad lower than I would like, but that is okay. Let's go ahead and check out the hidden development players we had, the middle linebacker, and of course, the defensive tackle. I'm excited to see what they are. This is probably going to be our last season anyway, but he just. Weber's a superstar wow wasn't this this is the guy we got 
in the i believe he was projected third round right but i got him at pick number 32 wow and then this guy starts i mean you'd love to see it you can never go wrong with the hidden development all right i'm happy with that we're currently six and two so not looking bad but not looking as good as we usually have been um last season i'm not gonna worry about the contract let's just go ahead and get to the playoffs hopefully we can get ourselves a nice little lombardi once again wow at the time of recording this, the Nets are absolutely smacking the Bucks, bro. That series, I was looking forward to it. We go 11 and 5, not bad at all. We're playing the Jets here. We finished second in the division, 12 and 4. The Bengals go. Okay, we're six in offense. How are we looking on defense? How are we looking on defense? We were 14th, right? Seventh. Baker wants it. Dude, he's been just like this solid every single season. 30 plus touchdowns, 10 or less interceptions, 4,500 yards once again. Baker has been amazing. Honestly, Nick Chubb. I, I expected him to get like 5,000 yards and 27 touchdowns, but that'll do as well, I guess. What? Receiving wise, oh, oh, Dell Beckham Jr., 1,310 touchdowns. Austin Hooper, Stevenson, once again, pretty decent. He wasn't in the slot this year, it was DPJ, and DPJ wasn't anything as crazy as Stevenson was last year. I'm gonna just be honest. Dion Weber led the way for tackles made there. You'd love to see that from our rookie, our superstar rookie, Miles Garrett, nine sacks? What? Only nine sacks for Miles Garrett. All right, that's a little underwhelming. That's okay. Delpit, there we go. He's at strong safety now. He should have been getting those Tavarius Moore stats last year. Weber had four as well. Wow, Lance Bishop, JOK. Dude, Delpit, like, hmm. I, I can't believe I didn't make him a strong safety last season. He could have been superstar right now, honestly. He could have. We got the 10 and 6 Jets, though. Zach Wilson, I believe, won MVP last season or the year before. We don't like Zach Wilson because he's crazy on simulation. The Bears and Justin Fields over there. And then the Chiefs finish as the number one seed over here. First game. Don't go out bad. Don't go in the don't go out in the first round, please, after winning the Super Bowl. Thank you. 42-35 was a good game. But now we got the Chiefs. The Chiefs beat us in the first season when I think in this round as well. Who's Pittman, dude? Clowney had three sacks. My goodness. Yeah, the Chiefs beat us in the first year, but now we're off a of Super Bowl. We got to get our revenge on Patrick Mahomes. Can we do it? Can we do it? 38-14. Oh my goodness. Now we're playing the Bengals. Now we're playing the Bengals, who were number one in our division. Baker player of the week there. Three touchdowns, 31 out of 41, 350 yards. The Bengals, the Bengals, the Bengals. Joe Burrow. Please, can we come away and go to back-to-back -to -back Super Bowls? We do! 24-21. We're so back. We're so back, dude. The Browns are so good. By the way, I have 90 million coach XP, but I'm not even going to worry about it. We're playing the 500 Giants. <laughs> oh, come on. Yep, yep. This is what I'm talking about. Zach Wilson, Justin Fields, Cam Newton. These are the three semi-gods. Like, unbelievable. Why is Baker never in here? I'm so confused. Oh, Wait, wasn't this wasn't this that backup running back? Traylon Robertson, have yourself a, a year. My God, offensive rookie of the year? Are you kidding me? And then Dion Weber gets um, a defensive rookie of the year. Fenderson in here as well. We clean sweep the rookies, man. And off of a Super Bowl as well. Like you'll love to see that Najee actually beat Nick Chubb, the best running back. All right, that makes me mad. Odell number three for best wide receiver, best O line went to Ronnie Stanley this year. Okay, Batonio, of course, already superstar. Unfortunately, Jedrick Wills never got himself into the top five to get him up. Miles Garrett, even though with nine sacks, you know he was probably getting quadruple teamed out there. So he still wins best D-line. Shout out to my guy, X-Man Grant Delpit, number two, though. And then Denzel Ward makes it for best DBs as well. So you love to see that. Upgrades. Development upgrades. Offense. Mm, I mean, Stevenson didn't do anything too crazy. Could Baker go up? Maybe. But the dude's not even in top 10 for MVP, so I don't know if he will. He doesn't. Yeah, I should have put Stevenson in the slot again. I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter. We still we was still were crazy. This guy was offensive rookie of the year. Didn't get upgraded. Back-to-back -back years where that has happened to us defensively defensively clowny <laughs> jadavion clowny went up to x factor wow good thing we re-signed him his this pass rush duel with him and miles garrett has been phenomenal and i'm super excited to see how that works out in real life i don't think we got anybody else though but that's okay let's quit wasting time and get ourselves into the super bowl against the eight eight and eight new york giants okay what rating are they they're an 87 though but look we're a 94 all right we're a 94 second consecutive season we make the super bowls and it's is it daniel jones yeah i did see him win player of the week baker mayfield versus daniel jones let's get into it man let's get in wait haven't we is this three super bowls in a row because we played the panthers right i don't want i don't want to talk about that game and the result of it but i think this is three super bowls in a row all right we're making history once again of course this browns team is disgusting we're up 14 10 here they get a touchdown can we end 
the first half of the field goal. We do. It's 17 all. 17 all at the end of the first half. So we got ourselves a good game, no doubt about that. Um, the first year against Panthers was a blowout. Last year was a blowout in our favor, but this year. This year we got a game, ladies and gentlemen. Daniel Jones does not even have a touchdown on this game. It's third and one. Miles Garrett, Tommy Toe Guy, somebody stop Saquon Barkley. It's it's a tough ask. It's a tough ask. Now Saquon has three touchdowns. Oh my goodness. 26, but at the same time it looked like 92. I don't really know. But Dan Danny Dimes. What you got for us, Miles Garrett? There you go, baby. There you go. We got yeah, we know it went to it went to Clowney and Miles Garrett, but that was that was like all Miles Garrett, bro. I don't know who that is. Saquon is wide open there, but it's a great, great tackle by I believe that's J O K, Jeremiah Wusakoromoa. And it is. It really is Nick Chubb versus Saquon this game. Saquon has three touchdowns. Nick Chubb has 150 yards. But gets tackled in the open field there. Oh, no. Third and six now. I don't know how Jabril Peppers got to tackle Nick Chubb like that in open field, man. We got to convert here. We got to convert here, Baker. Baker. Like, we really just got such a good stop. Got the ball back. And then we go three now. Like, are you kidding me? Little play action here. Danny Dimes. Absolute dime. Are you kidding me? What a catch. I believe that's Sterling Shepard. Wow. Just like that, man, they're on our side of the field now. Saquon Barkley gets wrapped up, and it's Jeremiah Wusakoromo once again with a massive, massive tackle on Saquon Barkley. Now it's third and three. They are in field goal range, so it's going to be three points nonetheless, considering they do make it. But can we need a stop here. Can we please get a stop? No, just a little check down. It's Sterling Shepard again. Second and three now. They're going to run a little sweep here to Saquon, and it's an amazing, an amazing tackle by number 55 there. Don't know who that is. Oh, it's, it's Wade, our rookie from the other year. Manny Wade, I believe his name is. What an absolute animal. What a tackle that was. And it's once again third and seven. We need to stop here. We need to hold him to a field goal. And we got we got just enough time. Miles Garrett. Miles Garrett. Get him down even more. Oh, my goodness. What a sack. And it's fourth and 24. We pushed them all the way back to the 36. And they're going for the field goal. It's a little, it's a little bit out there now, but it still should be gettable here. Imagine they miss, though. Can you imagine they miss? I can't really tell from this angle if it goes in or not. I think that went in. Yeah, that was that was a nice field goal, not even a lie. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Two minutes and 30 seconds remaining here. We're down three points in the Super Bowl, and we get an amazing catch from Odell Beckham to start off the drive. And it's a, it's an Odell Beckham revenge game as well, playing the New York Giants as well. He's got to show up here. We're going to run the clock down to the two-minute mark, but things are looking good. All right, man, back-to-back -back check downs. It's third and four now. I just... All I want is Odell Beckham to get the last, like, second touchdown, bro. That would be unreal. Baker Mayfield, Nick Chubb, let's go. No, Kareem Hunt, no problem. It's a face mask as well, if I say so myself, right? Hold it down, ref. Hold it down. It's a face mask. We get an extra, we get some extra yards there. Shout out Xavier McKinney. Now we're already on the 27, so we look good. We can tie the game whenever we want, pretty much. But, of course, of course, we're looking to get that W. And it did stop the clock as well, which is kind of nice for us, low key. First and 10. On the 27, Baker Mayfield just don't get sacked, my guy. Throw it away. No, no, no. It's third and 21 now. It's third and 21. This is not good. That sack was just not. We check down again to Nick Chubb. Are you kidding me? Baker, throw it down the field. Oh, my God. We're on the 37 here. There's 10 seconds remaining. They're going to ice us. Joe Judge, you dirty bastard. Oh, my God. I'm actually stressed. Oh, oh, hold up. Hold up. Did you see our kicker, though? Do you remember? In the first season, we signed Young Wei Koo, the absolute legend. It's 4th and 20 on the 37 to tie the game and go to overtime. Young Wei, don't let me down. I signed you on like a 7-year contract. What a beauty, bro. Oh my, is that Cristiano Ronaldo? Good God. Let's go, Young Wei. Shout out to you. Ice in the veins, baby. Ice in the veins. Ice them all you want. It ain't going to do anything. Here we go, man. We're going to overtime. 27-27. We've literally had the same scoreline in every quarter. That is unreal. That is so sick, I'm not going to lie, but of course we got the coin toss. What's this going to be? What is it going to be? No, the Giants want it. No. First play of overtime, Danny Dimes is throwing an absolute bomb. What is this? No, it's going to be... It's going to... Are you... Are you kidding me? On the very first play of overtime, we're going to do that? Who is it? Oh, Greg Newsome. Greg Newsome, what are you doing? They're already on the 25. We got to hold him to a field goal here. We got it. I mean, obviously, but oh my goodness, the very first play, they're going to feed Saquon. There is a little hole there. Yeah, get that iPad out. Get the film out. We need a big stop here to remain in the game. They're on the 17 already, man. It's going to be hard to stop them if they can convert here. What a tackle. Miles Garrett. Oh my goodness. What a tackle. What a tackle. 
Oh, they're going for it. It's fourth and one. They're going for it. Oh my god, guess run middle, boys. Guess run middle. Guess run middle, you idiots. No. Oh my god, I thought we had it. I thought we had it. With the, after that stop, they went for it. Big balls by Joe Judge, but obviously a good position to do that in. Danny Dimes. Oh my god, what a swap by Miles Garrett. Of course, though, he is banned from playing basketball, so stop doing that, Miles. Just kidding, that was amazing. That was amazing. Second and ten now on the 13. Please, 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 please. Saquon once again. Can we wrap him up? Oh my god, that animation. Third and six. This is the biggest play of the rebuild, and it's a sack. It's a it's a rookie! Fenderson! Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, what a sack. They ain't going for this. Fourth and thirteen. We have held them to a field goal, assuming. Assuming he makes it, I don't know, man. The Super Bowl, the nerves. Come on now. I think that's good. Yeah, that was that was an absolute beauty. That is not good, Nick Chubb. Yeah, I gotta see you trucking those guys, man. Come on, third and one. Baker. I mean, what is that? What is that? There we go, man. Season on the line. Fourth and one. It's fourth and one. Like, just give it to. Nope. Oh my God. Oh, <laughs> Nick Chubb. Nick Chubb's going crazy. Oh my God. He just Dude, he could have got tackled for a loss there. Absolutely, like, juked back like Lamar Jackson in high school. And then a, just an amazing stiff arm to get ourselves the first down. Great gain there. Who is that? Number 11? Is that DPJ, I believe? Baker's having a phenomenal game, to be fair. Uh, maybe not phenomenal, but a really good game nonetheless. DPJ, shout out to you as well. We're driving down nicely here. It's second and two. Baker. Oh, my God. DPJ, once again, gets past the cornerback. Is that a Dory Jackson? I don't know, but DPJ, two big gains, massive, massive for the team. Now we're on the 32. We're in field goal range now, so we're comfortable, but this is where we were in the fourth quarter as well, and Baker got sacked for like 59 yards, bro. Baker? Baker? Oh my goodness. DPJ again? Ladies and gentlemen, we're on the two. Dennis? No. Donovan Peoples-Jones, shout out to Bangle, by the way. You guys know what I mean. Donovan Peoples-Jones has shown up in the Super Bowl here in the dying minutes of the game. We have Nick Chubb be the main man of the evening no no baker baker who is that number one is that anthony schwartz like, what's the flag no it's holding it's like a hundred million percent holding oh my it's james hudson to the man the man that's his first start has been this season james hudson we had the game winning super bowl with anthony schwartz oh my god we had it i can't believe we had it and it just got taken away from us through the middle right there through the middle Baker, you were 29 seconds too late. Oh, no, it's third and goal. Dude, Austin Hooper was so open there. And Baker took so long. He was like his literal last read. We're going to run it here on third and goal. Ballsy play. Nick Chubb should have ran to the outside there. Um, We're on the four, dude. Like, do we go for this or do we kick the field goal? All right, we're, uh, there's only two minutes left, dude. Stop icing us, bro. We have Young Wei Koo. There's there's a few rules in life, and one of them is simply you cannot ice the Koo man. Young Wei. All day long, of course. He better make that with his eyes closed and with no feet. Yeah, it's gotta go to... You can't, we can't draw on the Super Bowl, obviously, but you know what I mean? Like, we're, we're seeing some stuff happen for the first time here. That, that's if we can hold the the Giants. Saquon's literally ran 30 times this game. He's gonna have to rest for the next 30 days with that amount of rushing. It's a play action. Good coverage, but Saquon has open space. It's a good tackle, though. Wrap him up, ladies and gentlemen. There's no two-minute warning as well. Okay, I didn't know that. It's going to be second and three on the 41, on their 41, thankfully. But time is ticking. They still got timeouts, though. How do we let... How, it's Galladay. Galladay, how do we let him catch that? This is not good. There's only a minute left. They're taking their time now. They're probably going to run it down. They believe they... Holding. 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 Holding! Who is it? Let's go! Andrew Thomas! Let's. Oh my god, that's... Wow! Alright, so both offensive linemen are just screwing each team. James Hudson, now Andrew Thomas on the other side. They're back on the 40 on a first and 20. I think we're fine. Yep, Saquon's gotta be dying out here. They're feeding their backup now. They're gonna use their first time out here, or their second one, I guess. Eh, I mean, I guess I get, I'm, I'm fine with going to second overtime. and It's a screen pass. There's space, dude. Oh my goodness, that was close. That was close, but I think I think we're good. Ten seconds remaining here. Probably not too much gonna happen. They just got a nice little deflection on that last play. Baker Mayfield, unless he throws a little, just don't fumble, dude. Oh my goodness, my heart. Oh my goodness, Aziz Ojolari. He's a scary man, bro. This has got to be the most tense Super Bowl of all time. 
the same exact scoreline after every single quarter. Like, has that ever happened before? This is unreal stuff. Did we just... Oh, wait, it's oh, we just go on? Oh, it's third and 22. Oh, no. Dude, I didn't... I thought we, like, would have to flip a coin again and do, like, just do that all over again. But no, it's actually... Oh, my God. Baker! Stop getting sacked for so much. <laughs> it's fourth and eight now. We gotta punt the ball away. We gotta come up with another big stop. It's a fantastic punt, though, to be fair. And it's a good tackle. Let's go. Like, this is actually unreal. My hands have just been on my head, like, since overtime. What a catch by Galladay, dude. My goodness. It's a Galladay again. It's just killing us, dude. Do they win if they get the field goal, or do we get another chance? We should get another chance, right? I'm actually not too sure. Um, I'm getting a little scared now, thinking about it, but I think we should i actually have no idea bro i think we might lose yeah they're they're driving on us man they're already in field goal range there's we're kind of stuck like galladay just just killed us in the second overtime here and now they're just wasting clock with saquon getting a little yardage at a time and we we can't do too much about it unless we somehow get a little strip on saquon you know what i mean anything's possible now if he finds a little hole he's gonna Oh my goodness. Alright, we are icing them, but this is probably going to be game, bro. You have got Kenny Galladay and Saquon Barkley just absolutely destroyed us. It's, they have Rosas. The field goal is good. Oh my goodness. Is that game? I think it's game, bro. Bruh, wow. That is a heartbreaking loss to take, dude. Dude, we had it. We literally had it. Anthony Schwartz had the touchdown. That was game over. James Hudson... James Hudson, bro. You have got to be kidding me. Baker, Baker, Baker. Down bad. I don't even care, bro. Down bad. I'm pissed off we didn't just win that. Are you kidding me? Bro, that was literally the craziest game I've ever seen. And we watched all of it. It was so long. Once again, there's no Super Bowl MVP. I don't know why. But, oh my goodness, bro. Daniel Jones didn't even have a touchdown. Didn't even have a touchdown, bro. Like, come on. Saquon had three 34 carries nick chubb had 24 carries dude nick chubb was unreal dude we should have fed him on that one i don't even know i don't even know galladay destroyed us the last seconds ah oh, man i am heartbroken we just lost that man oh shane shimenez with two sacks garrett jok clowny manny wade fenderson <laughs> what has to be the most thrilling Super Bowl we've ever seen. We unfortunately come out on the wrong end there. 30 to 33, the Giants and Danny Dimes end, us, end up beating us. Are you actually kidding me? But that's going to be the end of the video. And actually, before I go ahead and round off the team, I got to do one thing. James Hudson, you screwed us. We could have had back to back. Super Bowls, my guy. Get out of here. Get out of here. I don't even want to see you. And of course, before we round this off, if you guys are here and made it to this point of the video, I just want to say I appreciate you guys for watching the whole thing. Go ahead and like the video if you made it here because you had to enjoy it a little bit, right? Go ahead and sub if you're new as well. It would mean a lot But the team, man. Baker Mayfield was honestly just solid throughout the entire thing. Like, just really consistent stats. 30 plus touchdowns, no, no more than 11 picks, about 4K yards each time. Baker Mayfield was really good, man. We offered him a contract that he ever so muchly deserves. So shout out to Baker, man. Excited to see how we can do with this Browns team in the future. Nick Chubb was Nick Chubb, let's be real. We, I, Odell went up to Superstar X Factor. I didn't even know that. Did I even check it? I don't even know. Or did I just glance over him? Yeah, he went up to X Factor. Odell was, once again, just Odell Beckham Jr. as well. Obviously, he's going to be great. We traded away Jarvis Landry. DPJ stepped up in that overtime game. Stevenson was good. Anthony Schwartz should have had the Super Bowl game winning touchdown, but for um, names that we won't mention, caused that. Austin Hooper was good. The O line, I mean, obviously the best, one of the best, the best O line. I'm just, I'm just gonna say the best O line in the entire league, and it was so good. It showcased here today. They're. Cedric Wills is up to 90. Batonio was 92. Teller, of course, X Factor. Shout out Jack Hawkins as well. I wish. I wish I still had him now. Jadavion Clowney was amazing. He went up to Superstar X Factor. Toe guy had the scoop and score last year. Better say we drafted Miles Garrett. Was doing Miles Garrett type things, as you guys know. Denzel Ward, Bishop, Greg Newsom was really good, but had that defensive interference in the overtime. I'm, I'm not gonna forget that. Greedy Williams, shout out to you as well. Del Pitt, Johnston, we drafted Manny Way. Dion Weber was amazing. Wish I could have got more years with him. And then Jeremiah was Cormall, quietly up to a 94 superstar there, but 
that was an extremely fun rebuild, man. Probably gonna be an extremely long video after that overtime game and that Super Bowl. That was insane, but we made the Super Bowl three times, am I right? Correct me in saying that, but yeah, that's amazing. Of course, this Browns team is also amazing, and it is really good, of course, on Madden Simulation as well. Excited to see how they can do next year. If you guys enjoyed the video, of course, you can leave it a like. Subscribe if you are new. That's gonna be the end of the me, though. Hope you guys enjoyed, man. Peace.